Hey guys, it's Jen with Bushcraft Diva, and today we're going to take a look at the Diva's Method to Sharpening a Knife. Now this all started when my good friend Scotty Kinder sent me his PKS Scorpion to give it a try because I have such small hands and I'm trying to find what knives work for me um, without spending thousands of dollars on blades, only having a couple that I'm really comfortable working with. So Scotty, thanks for sending this out, and I thought I'd give it a little TLC before putting it to use. So. I cleaned it up. I gave it a nice new sharpened blade. I put some boiled linseed oil on this beautiful walnut handle that it has. And then this week I'm going to take it out and just beat the snot out of it and see how it holds up to um, my purposes and uses. But in the process of doing that, I posted pictures of my progress in, in, in restoring this blade. And I started getting questions from people. Why are you doing this? How are you doing that? I keep running into this issue. Do you have any recommendations? Well, in fact, I do. And that's what I'm going to share with you today is my method of sharpening a knife. Everybody has their own method. I've been corrected a million times by a million different people. This is just how I prefer to do it. And by the end, you're going to have a hair shaving sharp blade. In fact, I made that comment, which was met by a man who just laughingly said, now all I can see is chicks out in the woods shaving their legs with knives. So we'll see if we can actually get it that sharp. And if you're ready, let's go. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we have the right equipment. First of all, I have got a WorkSharp sharpening bench with a medium diamond plate, which is at 320, a fine diamond plate at 600, and then we've got a ceramic plate here. And I've got the bevel set at 20. We're gonna pop that in there and lock it in. Next, I'm taking my knife and I'm going to place it up on that 20 and bring it right down here to meet the plate. And we're just going to give it straight down and you kind of just follow it right along here, the tip. So you're gonna do kind of an arcing motion. And I'm going to go 10 times in this direction. And you want kind of a moderate push on it. Now we're gonna bring it back 10 times in this direction. Okay, now we are going to alternate back and forth. This is just how I learned to do it and what works for me. 10 times, we're gonna repeat this. You should start to be feeling a little burr here. Um, when you're sharpening, when you're bringing it down this way, you're, you're moving material you're taking material off the blade. So it's actually creating a little buildup of material on, on the edge of the blade. And when you bring it back the other way, it goes in the opposite direction. So you're getting like, it feels like a little, almost a little lip or a burr right along the edge there. And now that we've got that going, we're gonna move to the fine plate. All right, again, we're going to hit that 20 degree mark and just with moderate pressure, 10 times this way, and then we're bringing it 10 times this way. Get it started all the way here. This is where you do the majority of your knife work anyway, so you wanna make sure that you're getting that part nice and sharp, and you're just gonna bring it down into a swoop so you're still getting that tip. 10 times this way, again with moderate pressure. Followed by alternating 10 times each way again. All right, we're moving to the ceramic plate now, and unlike before when you had um, when you are putting a moderate pressure, this you just want a nice little glide. We're going to do 10 again. 10 this way. And we're going to alternate again. 10. Again, this is just me. So you'll notice while I was sharpening, this whole thing was solid, right? And we were following the, the little curve, the little, um, the little swoop that I was doing. However, this particular bench also has the option of a pivot. So you can unlock it and instead of following that swoop around, this will actually 
pivot for you. So you're just going straight down, but it's still getting to the point and it's just pivoting. So you're not actually having to do the wrist work. That doesn't work for me. It may work for you, but that's why I was saying everyone has their own method of sharpening. And so you're going to see what works best for you, what you're most comfortable with. Okay, now we are moving on to the leather straps. This is the coarse strap. This is the fine strap, coarse side of the leather, fine side of the leather. And unlike when we were sharpening with the stones and we were pushing the blade into the diamond work or the ceramic, we are running the back side of the bevel along the leather here. Okay, now you can see we don't have the 20 degree uh, bevel mark on the straps like we did on the bench. So as you can see here, there is a gap between the blade and the leather. As soon as I turn that, pivot that for the bevel to hit the leather, that's when we know we're ready to go. We're just going to run it the same way we did on the stones, all the way up to the tip in that swooping motion. We're going to do that 10 times. And now we're going to come back, make sure we pivot so we get that bevel. All right, and now, again, my magic number 10, right? 10 back and forth on the coarse strop. All right, we're done there. So we're gonna to move to the fine strop and we're just going to do the same exact thing as we did before. Get that bevel flush with the leather. And 10, two, three, and 10 back this way. Coming back is always easier for me. And now we're going to do the back and forth again, 10 times. And like I said, coming back is always easier for me. So if you, to get the other side, if you feel it's easier to switch hands and just do it that way, then switch hands and do it that way. Like I said, it's whatever works for you. All right, so let's see how nice and Look at that. Look at how nice and sharp that is. It is not sliding on my thumbnail at all. And that is a sexy sharp. So should we really see if we can shave our legs with it? Let's go. All right, so now for the moment of truth. I, yes, I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Um, first of all, I use conditioner, not shaving cream. Shave my legs. It's better for the skin and it works better anyway. And it's more readily available. So we're going to see if I got this, what my husband called a sexy edge, if we got this sharp enough to shave my legs. Only because that guy made the comment. So now I have to see if it actually, if I got it there. So let's also do not do this at home. And especially if you don't, if you haven't really perfected your knife handling skills, absolutely do not do this. You know, there's there are ways to hold a knife. There are, you have to know what kind of pressure you're using. You need your grip, you need control. And look at that, this blade is just giving me a really nice shave. Look at that. Look at that, soft and smooth, not a hair left on it. So we now have the answer to the question. Can you get the blade sharp enough to uh, shave your legs in the woods? Yes, you can. Should you do it? Probably not. So I'm ready for all the hate that I'm gonna get for doing this in the comments section. But seriously, if you have any questions or comments about the knife sharpening skills that I, uh, or method that I had shared with you today, feel free to drop that in the comment section of this video. And while you're there, head on over to the like and subscribe button, hit both of those and ring that notification bell so you never miss another episode of Bushcraft Diva. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, I am at Bushcraft Diva on Instagram and at Bushcraft Diva on TikTok. And there will actually be a shortened version of this video on TikTok, which is going to be my first video there 
either later today or tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and a blessed weekend.